Have you got nettles in your garden? Go on, be honest. Nettles are notorious for their sting and as a creeping weed, good for nothing but ripping out and thrucking back. But hold on a second, of course they're not. And today I'm going to convince you why you need nettles in your garden. Did you know that nettles are a convenient source of nutrients for your crops, are brilliant at attracting beneficial bugs and are an edible treat if harvested correctly? They're full of growth boosting goodness, including nitrogen, calcium and magnesium. Put the nutrients found within nettles to good use by making your own natural organic liquid plant feed. Just cut your nettles, any old tough nettles will do, but young is absolutely fine as well of course, and then stuff it right down into a watertight container. Ideally one with a lid because it can pong a bit. I actually don't mind the smell, so I'm just going to leave it open. You then want to weigh it down. You can use a brick, stones or some old logs just to stop it floating to the surface and then fill it with water. Now we'll leave this to steep for about a month and then it's good to go. You'll then dissolve the nettle tea, one part nettle tea to 10 parts water. And because it's particularly high in nitrogen, it's going to be great for those leafy vegetables like kale, spinach and chard. You can also cut nettles to lay, as they are, around larger plants or shrubby fruits, where they will serve as a valuable mulch. Their high nitrogen content also makes them a natural compost activator. In other words, by adding them to your compost heap, you'll speed up the decomposition process. Mix them in with a wide range of other compostable ingredients, including drier ingredients with a higher carbon content, such as plain cardboard, dried leaves or woodier prunings. Just to make sure not to include any of the roots or seed heads, or they may start growing in your compost. Nettles are the food plant of choice for the caterpillars of all sorts of beautiful butterfly and moth species. By leaving a few nettles be, you'll be setting up ideal conditions for a kaleidoscope of colour later on in the season. Now many other insects love nettles too, including lady beetles or ladybirds and their prime food source, aphids. In much the same way you plant maybe nasturtiums close to your cabbages to lure caterpillars away from them, you can use nettles to lure away aphids and they'll take the hit rather than your crops. And nettles are a great ingredient to cook with. You'll need your trusty gloves, of course. You can apparently pick them by getting at them from the top and then sort of nipping them downwards in the direction of the little spines, but I'm not really brave enough for that. Pick just the very tender top growth like that. It's younger, it's more tender and less stringy. You can think of um, nettles as an alternative to sort of spinach. It's a lovely leafy green, full of iron, and just lightly steaming it for a couple of minutes will be absolutely spot on. Perhaps served with, I don't know, drizzle of olive oil, knob of butter, and a little grind of the salt and pepper mill. Or make a tasty nettle soup. Simply boil one pound or 450 grams of potatoes until soft, and steam half a pound or 225 grams of nettles till tender. Combine them with two pints or one litre of vegetable stock. Bring to the boil, season to taste, add a splash of cream, then blitz them with a stick blender. Yum! It makes a jolly good cup of tea too. Just steep a few leaves in boiling water. Apparently it's good for all sorts of ailments, including hay fever, sore muscles and asthma. I just find it a rather refreshing and calming alternative to the usual caffeinated beverages. Cheers. Nettles can even be used to make a very quaffable beer. Suddenly they're not looking too bad after all, are they? Give me your thoughts down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for loads more fantastic content. And if you simply can't wait, check out this playlist for more ways to feed your plants naturally and organically. I'll catch you next time.